In this video, we'll be looking at how we can use the fixed reorder quantity, which we can specify in our reordering policy on our item card in conjunction with our requisition worksheet to make sure that we have adequate stock. So to begin, I will look for items. And for this presentation, I'll select an item which we have zero inventory for, which will be our item 1980-S. And we're looking for our reordering policy field here. And we're going to select fixed reorder quantity. This opens up our reorder point and our reorder quantity, which we can select as 25. And we can order 25 more. There are a few other fields here that we can edit, but we won't touch these for now. With these fields filled in, we can go to our requisition worksheet. And we'll select our default journal. And now we'll select process and calculate plan. Here we can specify our starting and ending date. If we have a forecast set up, we can use this. We can also exclude forecasts before a certain point. If we only want to calculate a plan for a certain item, we can enter this in our item filter here, and we can do the same with our location. We can also specify any other number of filters to run our calculate plan with. In this case, I've made sure that our starting and ending date is within our work date range and I'll click OK. This has populated our line with our Moscow swivel chair with a quantity of 50. Now we can process and carry out this action which will run a batch job based on our lines in our requisition worksheet. <laughs> 